Nothing has ever, 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 ever happened romantically with us. We just love each other. That's all I can say about that. Many times we've seen that celebrities experience situations similar to The Fault in Our Stars. They openly admit to having crushes on their co-stars, leading to a plethora of stories that evoke both joy and sadness in our memories. Well, you know, I've seen it before, but to this extent, it, it's pretty extreme. I mean, we do a lot of hugging and uh, we do love each other, uh, but... In this video, we'll delve into the lives of the 10 stars who confess to having crushes on their colleagues. So let's board on this journey together and explore the fascinating world of celebrity crushes. For more enthusiastic content and exclusive quarterly giveaways, subscribe to our channel now! Don't forget to hit that like button on each video, your feedback and new suggestions are always welcomed. Let's make our content even better, together! Number 1. David Schwimmer and Jennifer Aniston the iconic on-screen couple known for being each other's lobsters and navigating the indefinite break, Friends stars David and Jennifer had secret crushes on each other while filming the show. So what you witnessed on screen was a reflection of their genuine feelings. Isn't that sweet? During the Friends reunion, both Jen and David revealed that they harbored strong feelings for each other at some point but never pursued them further due to being in other relationships. Oh, the feels. The first time we kissed was that in that coffee shop. We just poured all our affection and love for each other into Ross and Rachel. You and David in the early years had a crush on each other. Yes, we did. Um, yes, we did. You didn't. Number two, Emma Watson and Tom Felton. In the realm of Harry Potter fandom, the idea of Dramine, the romantic pairing of Hermione Granger and Draco Malfoy, is still widely cherished. However, it seems there was a touch of reality to this fantasy during the filming of the series. Emma Watson, who portrayed Hermione Granger, confessed to harboring a significant crush on her co-star Tom Felton, who played Draco Malfoy, particularly during the early films. Despite Emma's feelings, Tom saw her more as a younger sister, unable to reciprocate her romantic interest. He appreciated her as a friend and colleague, but didn't view her romantically. Reflecting on their dynamic, Tom suggested that any romantic tension might have been more of a product of their characters' gryffindor Slytherin rivalry than genuine feelings between him and Emma. Nevertheless, he expressed great admiration for her as a person and actor. In the world of Harry Potter, where magic and friendship intertwine, the behind-the-scenes dynamics between Emma Watson and Tom Felton add an extra layer of intrigue and nostalgia for fans of the beloved series. Nothing has ever, 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 ever happened romantically with us. We just love each other. That's all I can say about that. Number 3. Reggae Jean Page and Phoebe Devnoir as viewers swooned over the charming Duke of Hastings and Bridgerton, actor Reggae Jean Page revealed that his own celebrity crush was none other than his co-star, Phoebe Dibnavor. It seems the sparks on screen weren't just for show. Now, we understand the inspiration behind the iconic line, I burn for you. Reggae Jean believes that everything viewers need to know about their on-screen chemistry is captured on camera. The beautifully crafted scripts provided the perfect foundation for their characters' fiery interactions. He suggests that the scripted material speaks volumes, showcasing the undeniable chemistry between them. In the world of Bridgerton, where romance and drama collide, in elegant ballrooms and scandalous society gatherings, the electric dynamic between Reggae, Jean, Paige, and Phoebe adds an extra layer of allure to the series, leaving fans eager for more of their on-screen chemistry. Can you tell me who would narrate your daily life? And honestly, I think I'd like a little Phoebe in a bow tie on my shoulder, just kind of chatting <laughs> through what's going on in the day. I think that would be a delightful thing to have with you. Number 4. David Harbour and Venona Ryder David Harbour confessed that his high school crush was none other than his Stranger Things co-star, Venona Ryder. He described working with her as a dream come true, especially considering their undeniable chemistry as Jim Hopper and Joyce Byers on screen. The affectionate nickname Jopper emerged among fans, reflecting their character's deep connection. Harbour even admitted, I do feel like there are moments where you fall in love with Venona. The weight of that. Uh, I feel it when I'm with her. It's like I feel like she's a big part of my life. And so that's profound. <laughs> Number 5. Lana Condor and Noah Centineo 
Lana Condor confessed that before filming to all the boys I've loved before, she definitely had feelings for Noah Centineo. However, to avoid any complications during work, they made a mutual agreement and set boundaries much like a real-life high school comedy. Despite the drama, the two Hollywood stars managed to maintain a professional relationship. The end of the film, where they reunite in the rain and share a kiss, seems like a fitting conclusion. I believe that for a film to succeed, we needed to maintain a professional, best friend dynamic. I'm grateful that Noah and I reached this understanding because it allowed us to create a fantastic movie while still acknowledging our chemistry. This whole entire experience has made me realize you just have to tell people how you feel when you feel it. Number 6. Tom Holland and Elizabeth Olsen while many fans root for Tom Holland and Zendaya now, to be a couple of course, Tom expressed in an interview his preference for Elizabeth Olsen's character, Scarlet Witch, to be Spider-Man's love interest among all Marvel characters. I think Scarlet Witch is pretty hot, you know? I think Elizabeth Olsen's super hot and really nice as well. She was really nice to me at the premiere. So yeah, probably Scarlet Witch. Tom's admiration for Elizabeth's portrayal and her kindness at the premiere highlighted his fondness for the character. Though fans may have their preferences, Tom's comments shed light on his admiration for Elizabeth Olsen and her role as Scarlet Witch in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you could pick any love interest from the Marvel Universe for Spider-Man, who would it be? I think Scarlet Witch is pretty hot, you know? I think Elizabeth Olsen is super hot. Number 7. Woody Harrelson and Elizabeth Banks In a fantasy romance sequel for The Hunger Games, it would be fitting to see F.E. Trinket and Haymitch ending up together especially since Elizabeth and Woody admitted to having crushes on each other. For Elizabeth, working with Woody was a dream come true, while Woody expressed his admiration for her both as a person and as an actress. I have a crush on Elizabeth Banks, I'm not gonna lie. I think she's a beautiful woman, I think she's a marvelous actress, and I would just love her as a person. She's as fun as can be. Well, you know, I've seen it before, but to this extent, it's pretty extreme. I mean, we do a lot of hugging and uh, we do love each other, uh, but... Number 8. Arjun Kapoor and Kareena Kapoor Khan Arjun Kapoor said that his first crush was Kareena Kapoor, and they ended up working together as a couple in the film Key and Ka, which was a dream for the former. Karina knew about it and said, Arjun claims that he's my biggest fan. He's a madman. He says he knows and has watched every movie of mine and mugged up all my dialogues. My first crush was Karina. When I first met her for the first time, I realized that she looks even better without makeup. However, there was no one reason why I had a crush on her. Number 9. Matthew Davis and Selma Blair, Legally Blonde I discovered that during the trial scene, Alana Eubach, who played Serena in Legally Blonde, told the New York Times in July of 2021, We could see that heart beating every time he was around her. He was so nervous, and I thought, how could someone looking like that be as nervous as he is? Davis, who played Elle's ex-boyfriend Warner, corroborated his co-star story, adding, I'll adore Selma till the day I die. I will always cherish her taking care of me and looking after me because I was so damn green. As you know, Matthew Perry has recently passed. Do you have a favorite memory you could share with us of your time at Friends? Well, I am such a, a football fanatic. Number 10, Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves, Speed and the Lake House. I think about how sweet Keanu Reeves was and how handsome he was. It was hard for me to really be serious because he'd look at me and I'd be like, Bullock said with a giggle during an appearance on the Ellen DeGeneres show in May of 2019. Never dated him, I guess there was something about me I guess he didn't like. Reeves, for his part, set the record straight that he did, in fact, develop a crush on his speed coaster. I mean, come on, it's Keanu Reeves, of course, he's gonna be very gentle, he's gonna be very loving. I mean, if you have a crush on him, I'm pretty sure if he's single, he's gonna do something about it. She obviously didn't know I had a crush on her either. It was nice to go to work, she's such a wonderful person and a wonderful actress. Reeves confirmed on the Ellen DeGeneres show that same month. Very sweet. Did y'all get together? Did you date him? Never dated him. Really? I, there was just something about me that I guess he didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a bunch for sticking around until the end. You're a legend. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video and stick around for more stuff that's coming in. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao. This whole entire experience has made me realize you just have to tell people how you feel when you...